glorify Jesus, exalt Jesus, magnify him. He's been our help, he's been our strength, he's been our shield, he's been our buckler. Father, we thank you for a brand new day. Thank you for another opportunity to learn from you. You are worthy, you are faithful. Be glorified in Jesus' excellent name. The God of heaven shall advance you indeed. In your business, in your career, in the work of your hand, in your endeavors, experience advancement in the name of Jesus. I see the lifting hand of God lifting you again this week in the name of Jesus. You shall advance in Jesus' mighty name. Please, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is our advancement hour. And we have been journeying on the secret of word building. Last week, we went ahead on the word preservation and we saw enemies of word preservation. One, we want to continue in that vein today. Enemies of word preservation. Two, remember our central test has been Psalm 112. One to three, praise the Lord. Blessed is the man that fear the Lord that delighted greatly in his commandment. The seed of the righteous shall be blessed, his generation shall be mighty, wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure it forever. Now we have clearly stated here that wealth building is a process and is a journey. We have also seen the four processes of wealth building, wealth creation, wealth management, wealth multiplication, and we are still studying this preservation, wealth preservation. Last week we saw the enemies of wealth preservation, and as I said earlier, we are building upon this. An enemy connotes limitation, obstacle, restriction, barrier. Word killer. The essence of word preservation, as we earlier stated in the, in the teaching, is to ensure and to secure our word from losses and damage. And we have to be proactive to word preservation in order to maximize on safe word foundations, also keeping our eyes on word building. And building in order to keep ourselves from weight killers. And some of these weight killers can be interest rates, taxations, inflations, market losses, etc. Today we want to see more on these enemies of weight preservation. Remember, when the enemies of weight preservation are overcome, you can actually be financially free with, and enjoy also peace of mind. What are these enemies of word preservation we want to see? Number one, we want to see today is procrastination. Procrastination. Procrastination is the action of delaying and postponing something. It is avoidance of doing a task or a duty which needs to be accomplished. It is putting off impending tasks to a later time. It is all about doing pleasurable things in place of less pleasurable and demanding things. You agree with me, just like the river is crooked because of moving to less resistant parts, so is the life and the affairs of a person plagued with procrastination. The truth is, if you can find a reason to push to tomorrow, what you should do today, you will always find another tomorrow to push it to. Many people are retired today. Many people are regretting today because they couldn't do yesterday what they should have done. And today they are full of regrets. We must take steady steps and actions towards word preservation. It is something we must pay attention to. Please never put it off to tomorrow. 
Somebody said, and I believe, he said, the best way to get something done is to begin. So you must begin now. It was Donald Gardner that said, do you know what happens when you give a procrastinator a good idea? And he answered, nothing. I believe you want something good to happen by what you are learning here. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate moving into web building and into web preservation. The truth is this. If you can work hard in silence, your success will make the noise. If you can work hard in silence, your success will keep making the noise. Understand. Sometimes we say, I will do it later. But later becomes never. So do it now. It is the best time. Do it now. Learn to strike when the iron is hot. Certain ideas have come to you. Work with them. Many ideas have been lost on, to the enemy of procrastination. But the question is, why do people pro procrastinate? Why will people do this? Number one is indolent habits. Indolent habits. One of the major reasons for procrastination is laziness, slothfulness, indolence. When a person is indolent, he will not feel like doing what he's putting off. He want to play around, want to watch TV, want to play and watch some video. He will feel lazy to invest. He give you reasons why he can't preserve words. Now I discover many times when people are giving such reasons, it will always trap them. Number two, if one has no goals and targets, the tendency is for the person to keep procrastinating. When a person has no goals, no targets, you have no targets for living, no deadlines to meet, the tendency of procrastination creeps in. We must be men and women of purpose. We must set goals, and in our context here, you must have financial goals. You must have financial goals. Set goals for your life and follow them. Set financial goals and follow them. As a matter of fact, you must have what you are saying and putting up this for so 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 investment, for so so preservation, as we have learned in all the web preservation, web building process. It's important that you consider working with a to do list every day. And if you do this, you discover you accomplish more than the day you don't. If, for instance, you have a schedule to travel by maybe a 6 a.m. flight and you have to be in the airport, nobody will wake you up that day. You discover that everything in you will respond to it. Even if you have the gift of sleeping, you discover you wake up on time and start preparing for it because there is a schedule. But when you don't have such, you can decide to wind away your life. Please set goals and follow them. It helps to fight the enemy of procrastination, especially as he has to do in this area, word building, process, and word preservation. Number three, lack of self-control. Procrastination says as hot cake to those who lack self-control. You agree with me that each and every one of us will have different dispositions. Those who have the disposition of indiscipline in completing assignment and tasks in a timely and organized manner are prone to procrastination. Number four, fear of failing. People procrastinate because of the fear of failing. How about if I try it and it didn't work? How about if I put my money there and it fails? Now ask yourself, how about if I try and it succeeds? The truth is this, you cannot fail until you try. So try it first. Thomas Edison, after he had failed 9,999 times 
in doing or producing the incandescent bulb that we are using today was asked how he felt about such failure. He said, no, he didn't fail, but he only discovered ways not to do it. Anytime you are confronted in your web building journey of putting up something because you are worried about failing, tackle it head on. Face it to face it out. Another enemy, or what preservation want to see here, is self-limiting beliefs. Self-limiting beliefs. You agree with me that we become what we think largely. Right of Proverbs makes us to understand this in Proverbs 23 verse 7, that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you find yourself thinking, I cannot be ready, I cannot preserve well, I cannot build well, I cannot do it, you may eventually end up seeing such. But God didn't say so concerning you. Philippians 4 verse 13, the Bible said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. Your life will always move in the direction of your dominant thoughts. If you think you can, yes, you can. If you think you can't, it is your choice. I discovered in life that the greatest chain is being chained mentally by self-limiting beliefs. Such a person cannot be helped. They say in the world, you can take somebody you can take a horse to the river, but you cannot drink for the horse. If somebody is inhibited with self-limiting habits or thoughts, he cannot be helped. Many have wrong belief about world building and preservation. Many have such wrong beliefs. The way the people preserve their world because they think differently. You become your worst enemy when you occupy your mind with self-limiting thoughts. Quickly, I want to do some diagnosis and analysis of some self-limiting thoughts that can hinder your work preservation drive. Number one is, I don't have connections. You see somebody tell you, I don't have connections. So how can I make it when I don't have connections? People may have told you, you need to know the right people for you to make it, for you to build or preserve words. To make it in life is a matter of whom you know, they say. We do not deny the power of connections. We do not deny the power of knowledge of key stakeholders and people that matter in life and destiny. However, everything can be built over time. So you start from where you are now to build such good and godly contacts. The same room was not built in a day. So start today building a strong customer base, a strong client base. Start building it. Don't give that excuse that I don't have anybody. That man was in that in the Jesus told the story of a man that was in the pool of Bethesda, his problem was his excuse of having nobody. I have no man. Even when Jesus was to help him, he was still giving that. So please, you can build that quality relationship you need or connection you need to get to where you are going. But start it now from where you are. Number two, I don't have enough funds. I don't have enough funds. Eh? Man picking never chop. They talk of preservation. <laughs> I don't have enough funds. I need money for me to make it. Now hear me. If you are fond of using lack of money as an excuse not to engage in the web building process or even in web preservation, you will regret tomorrow. Now lack of limited resources can also be a blessing in disguise if taken in right perspective because it can even make you to start sounding your mind and trying to provide solution to the issues of your life it can make you so it was when Jacob slept with 
stone as pillow <laughs> that is all heaven open. So it can be a blessing in disguise. So, but don't just use that. There are some people like that. Anything you tell them, they say, no, I don't, I cannot do it. I don't have this. I don't have that. Please don't limit yourself. Number three, I'm not experienced. I'm not an expert. But you agree with me, no one starts doing anything as an expert. I wrote in the book, Making Yourself Marketable About Processes. Now, even God regretted when he tried starting Adam as a full-fledged man. That's why the second Adam had to go through a process. He had to start from the manger. Nobody starts anything as an expert. When Saul was brought in as a king that never had any process he fed. Nobody starts anything as an expert. Don't ever be discouraged. Or don't ever tell yourself, I'm not experienced, I'm not an expert. Expertise is built over time. You build it over time. So it's always good to start from where you are. God told Abraham, Start from where you are. Look from the to the from the east to the west to the north to the south as far as your eyes can see. But start from where you are. Start taking the journey from where you are. Start from where you are and be passionate about it. Be passionate about the world building process. Be passionate about the world preservation. Be passionate about it. Experience. Is built by practice. Experience is built by practice. Start from where you are, and then you discover you keep making progress, and you keep learning, and you keep getting more experience and becoming more an expert. Glory to God. Today, by the grace of God, we have seen two major. Enemies of word preservation, procrastination, and self limiting habits. And I pray that every form of procrastination the enemy has said to anyone here from taking the right step, doing what you're supposed to do towards this word building process and every word preservation, that procrastination be disconnected from your life in the name of Jesus. Somebody is here today, by what you have heard, you are going to take a step. That step is going to produce results that will beat your imagination in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus, whatever power is holding your one spot that have not allowed you to advance, that power be broken in Jesus' glorious name. By the good hand of the Lord, every thought that is inhibiting your mind, that have not allowed you to do what you're supposed to do to get to where you are going. That thought be disconnected from you right now in the name of Jesus. You shall go forward. You shall advance. You shall be prosperous. You shall stand out in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God giving you mega customers, mega clients that matter to your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Between now and December, you will see what I'm talking about. Just one connection, one clear that you as you start building from now, that you discover that your story has changed in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to rise and pray with me this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus. Every power of procrastination holding me from getting involved in what I plant that will make me establish, that will make me enjoy the world building process and preservation, Lord, terminate it. Every self-inhibiting thought, self-limiting thought, Lord, flush it out of my mind and give me boldness to take action against such in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray right now? 
in Jesus' glorious name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you again this morning. I have had your war. Father, help me. Strengthen me. Jesus, every power of procrastination that have not allowed me to enjoy the world building process, to get involved, and to even preserve where I deal with it right now. Father, help me to identify such in my life. Help me to deal with such in my life. Help me, Father. Malibe Zuzi Kata La Broteke Zuzi Kata. Ekentie Brekete Nu Tapla Leta Shushu Keteli Brani Na Biza Sakata La Tetori Agaba. Ibrini Me Zuzi Kata Balanti Zinia. Every self-inhibiting thought, self-limiting thought, everything that I'm thinking inside me that is making me feel I can't, Lord, I destroy it. Every I can't syndrome, every I can't syndrome, I destroy it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I believe I can and I can. I decree, therefore, that every form of I can't syndrome be destroyed. Every excuse, every reason, everything that the enemy is selling to me not to take the steps I need to take, I crush it right now by your blood. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus glorious name. Now lift up your two hands to him. I bless you today in the name of Jesus Christ and you are blessed. In the works of your hand, in your career, in your business, you shall go forward. The hand of the Lord shall establish your going. This week, God will give you a proof that he is the one advancing you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the lifting hand of God lift you. The advancing hand of God advance you. The God that advanced Moses and Aaron advance you. The God of increase increase you on every side. The God of multiplication multiply you on every side. I command that door you will be waiting for to open to you expressly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that been positioned by God to advance your cause, to advance your destiny, I command them to work from their slumber to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, that payment that is due to you that been hanging, that you are long waited for, I command you release this week in Jesus' name. Yes, the Lord God of heaven will make you an epitome of a man, a woman he has helped. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree God's covering upon you, upon the works of your hand. You shall not suffer any loss. You shall not see any damage. In the name of Jesus Christ, the word God has put in your hand shall be preserved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your generation will rise to call you blessed. Because you will have something to live for your generation on board. In Jesus' glorious name. And therefore put the name of the Lord upon your forehead. And I decree you shall be blessed. You shall be favored. You shall be honored. You shall increase. You shall multiply. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are going forward. You are going forward. You are going forward. In Jesus glorious name. The kind of things you have not been able to accomplish from January till now. Between now and December. The same you shall accomplish such in Jesus name. Go and be blessed. Go and return with testimonies. In Jesus glorious name. Hallelujah. In Jesus glorious name. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy are following us. All the days of our lives, we are dwelling in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. It's from glory to glory. From glory to glory. You will get it.